Hey everyone, it's Elaine, and I've come back out here to my art studio with the intentions of cleaning up. <laughs> I'm sorry, it just tickles me because I didn't, and I kind of got sidetracked, and when I, I went shopping the other day, which I haven't done in a really long time, and I said, well, I need to show everybody what I got, and then I started working on something else I want to do, so this is going to be kind of quick, I'm just going to take you on a you know, a little quick trip. First of all, nope, haven't done anything with the new sewing machine. Still sitting here. It stares at me every time I come in, but one day, one day. And then I had shown you about the tray and told you about the polyurethane that had um, leaked through and then the glue that I put on with the placemat under it and how lumpy it was. Well, I did take a sander to it and that stuff that's on the bottom of that tray just gummed up that sander. Um, so the sandpaper on it was virtually useless. It just started sliding on the bottom. So the next thing I think I'm going to try is like an X-Acto knife or a, a box cutter and kind of cut into it a little bit and see if I can't chisel it off. Um, one thing that I started working on is I like these thick dies that Sizzix does. They cut all kinds of material. Believe it or not, I have cut vinyl flooring with them. I would not recommend that a lot. Um, so don't try it in case, you know, it, it breaks something. But I have done it. I've cut leather with them. I've cut cloth with them. It's pretty tough. And, you know, substantial chipboard will cut through there. Um, what I'm doing is making these circles. And if you saw my last video, you saw where I was building like snippet rolls that I'm going to use as curtains in here. So right now, of course, it's kind of a, just a beige base and uh, some squares and things on them. A couple um, cloth ruffles I made and things like that. Well, now I've been cutting the circles and um, I'm going to try to use some of the brighter fabric that I have to do those. And um, that's going to be a project maybe that I'll take with me somewhere. But I figure if I can go ahead and get the circles cut then I don't have to worry about taking a die cutting machine and everything with me when I go. I can kind of travel a little light. The next thing I did is, um, I'm working on that right now, is I have a lot of, you know, jewelry, earrings. Some of it I've never worn. And um, like those I've never worn. And those I've never worn. So I decided to make my own earring cards and necklace cards. The die that I'm using, again, from Sizzix, is the oval one. And um, I'm using just old greeting cards, the back sides of old greeting cards, the part where you write on. As a matter of fact, you can see some in the trash there where you can see the oval cut out. So, trying to upcycle, recycle what I have. And I'm just basically putting two holes in it with my crocodile. And um, I'm going to price them. I do have... It's not a booth, it's just a bookcase or a shelf unit um, at a local antique mall here, about 20 miles away. And I try to sell some things there. So that's one thing that I really do want to get done today so I can take these tomorrow, run by there for the weekend. And then um, over here, nothing much has happened. I did get my wallpaper books totally taken apart. These were some pieces that I needed to kind of press down. I need to put those away. And then this is just some more just kind of junk. And then the table that I said I was going to try to clean up because this is basically where I do sit when I have friends over and everything. But I need, I need to tidy up. And then this is the stuff that I got yesterday or day before. Um, I went to, I started off at Michael's because I had a gift card. Didn't really find a whole lot. The store had a lot of empty shelves in it. Didn't know what's going on. And then I went over to Hobby Lobby, and of course there I found a bunch of good stuff. So I bought this, basically most of this came from Hobby Lobby. Got a gel plate and a, one size that I didn't have. So I got some punches and some dies and everything, a couple little stamp sets. So that's it. And um, I just wanted to show you what was on my crafty tables today. And um, I'm going to get back down there and work on the jewelry, and I'm watching... Outlander just turned off the volume. So um anyhow, that's what's happening in my world 
and I will catch you in the next video. Bye.